Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tabitha and today we're going to talk about how you can make money using currency exchange. And we are going to talk only about um, US to Canadian or Canadian dollars to the US dollars. So it's something that I recently add onto my investment account and um, I'm ready to show you how I do it and I hope you're going to enjoy it. So if you're new to this channel, please subscribe for more videos. So we do a lot of videos here about finance, about investing and about business too. So if you like what we're doing, you can subscribe for more videos. So today we are going to talk about how to make money use with currency exchange and it's, this is something that um majority of us do if you do investment okay so you can also make a little bit of money using currency exchange but how someone do it depends on your own strategy so my strategy is to buy us when the when the price goes down and then the sell it when the price goes up. So the next thing is what is then it is. So currency exchange is whereby you convert the other currency to the other currency. So, but because USD is the standard, is the standard, um, it's mostly the standard uh, currency, so it's mostly stable. And uh, if you want to make money, it's this US dollars that can either appreciate or depreciate. So, so if you want to buy more, majority of investors they will mostly keep the money in in USD because it's stable currency. But if you want to make money and convert it back to your own currency, so how do you do it? And this is the thing that we are going to talk about today. So before we go into the currency exchange things, what are some of the terminologies that we use when we are doing currency? So you will hear me saying things like appreciate, depreciate, and these things are always going by the increase of the price or the decrease of the price of that currency, okay? So let's say the um, currency exchange will look like this. So if for Canadians, during the day and the time that I did this video or I make this video, this is how it was looking like. So we mean a one United States dollar is equal to 1.33 Canadian dollars. So the chart was look like something like this, okay? So before you decide whether you're going to buy a USD or not, have you checked how is the market for that currency today and what it was yesterday? Did it cost more yesterday or is it causing more today? And uh, causing more, I mean, like, does it cause you to pay more of your currency to get the currency? So here, like here on the 14th of January, 14th of January, 2023. So this thing was standing at 1.34, which was lower than the, the previous day, which is like um, uh, January 7th. So January 7th was about around this place, which is 1.36, right? So if you were to buy more of this, so you could say, oh, I will buy more here for the USD. And then when it goes to the previous height, which is uh, 1.37, and then you can make some sense. Uh, the dollar that you bought for the USD. So this is how it would look like. So most of the time, this this side shows how much does a USD, one US dollar cost per, per Canadian dollars, right? So one USD today is costing 1.35 Canadian dollars. 
And then last time it was 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37. Was the was today it was even like 1.38. Okay. So that's what it is. And then for us to go through, we have to learn about the terminologies. And these are like appreciation, depreciation. So a currency can either appreciate or depreciate against the other currency. And in this example, we are using Canadian currency and the U.S. currency. So a U.S. currency can either, because now the U.S. is your product. So this product can either increase in price or decrease in price. And the price is measured in Canadian dollars. Okay. So, so a day when the USD is 1.38, it means like it has appreciated against Canadian dollar. It's causing more of Canadian to buy, causing you more Canadian dollars to buy one US dollar. When it has gone down to 1.25, it means it's depreciating and almost going to the same value as the Canadian currency, right? So it has depreciated against Canadian dollar okay so appreciate mean it was increasing and then depreciate it mean like usd was decreasing okay so so the currency you can go and once you see like for today we will go back and google currency exchange chart for today so that we can see are we going to decide to buy USD today or should we wait until it depreciate further so we can be able to buy cheap so that if it appreciate we can make profit so so here you will come to um, a google site and then type in USD to Canadian dollars. So once you type into USD to Canadian dollars this will give you the approximate um cost of uh usd so usd is your product you want to check is it like discounted is it going down or is it going up and should i actually buy it based on that and do you really know the factors that might come along and cause it to go further down or will it goes up based on those factors so here so you come here you say one usd USD cost 1.33 Canadian, okay? So you can see here, so the date could be here on the 28th, okay? When you bring your cursor here, so it would show you on the 28th is 1.33. What about previously? Did it increase? So did it increase to... Um, to which side? So previously it had appreciated to 1.37. Now it has depreciated against the Canadian dollar to 1.33, right? Depreciate it has gone down, gone down, it's gone down. So if you say maybe I'll buy it today, and then your expectation is that in some few days it's going to go back to 1.38 or 1.4 or 1.5. I've never heard it like going to 1.5, but I had it last in during COVID-19, it went to 1.45, 1.45, because like there was um, this pandemic and then there was like a lot of thing going on. So a lot of factors contribute into USD appreciating higher. And at that point, someone can really actually make money if you had bought it highly when it was 1.25. So that's what it said. And then you can move on and do something else. So after you've decided that you're buying that USD and then USD, for me, my strategy is once I have the cash now, the USD, 
it's very unpredictable that um, the the USD is going to appreciate soon. So instead of just making that money sit down and I wish through inflation and all these things, because every time you keep cash every day, you're losing it through inflation, right? So what I will do, I will use that USD to buy US stocks, US dividend stocks. And a good example is a Starbucks. So you buy Starbucks, this Starbucks will be paying you a dividend. So as you wait for, for the USD to appreciate, right? To appreciate goes up in value against US uh, Canadian dollar. So you are getting US dividend given to you at that point. So, so you'll be waiting as you had, right? Waiting as you had. So you buy Starbucks and then wait, get your, your dividend every day, every month. <laughs> but Starbucks dividend is quarterly, to, to be correct, okay? It's quarterly. So after that, once you have that, you can now go check and see is your dividend stocks appreciate in value? Have it appreciated in value, right? So has it increased in value? If it has increased in value, then you can now sell it. So, and at the same time, you can see it, right? You can see if it has appreciated in value and also check if the USD has also appreciated in value against Canadian so that you can sell this one and get your capital gain and then goes on the other side and convert it back to Canadian and make your profit a Canadian dollars. Okay. So you have to check it both ways. So see if your stocks has appreciated in value and see if the USD also has appreciated value. Is it now, can you sell it higher than you bought it? So USD currency, you have to check it, see if it has appreciated in value, and see if you can make a profit by selling it higher than you bought it, okay? Okay. And then, so how do you make a profit here? It might be like some sort of complication, going back and forth and all those stuff. But the profit happened because now you have your Canadian USD after you sold your stocks, right? You sold your stock, you get your capital gain, and then now you have your USD. So now how you make the, the profit is when you now sell that USD and get higher amount of Canadian dollar than the Canadian that you paid, Canadian dollars that you paid to buy those US dollar at the beginning. So that will make the difference, will make you a profit. And in some occasion, it could be 200, it could be 500, it could be um, 1,000. So it depends on the amount of money that you have, right? Because every cent count, every dollar counts and if you have um, more of it and then it can give you more profit right so that's the end of the video and um, thank you for watching and i will see you next time if you like the video you can subscribe for more video and i would really appreciate your participation if you can comment on down below and then leave your opinion about what I can improve on and think that you can add to this. Thank you. Bye.